Alrighty guys, how are we doing today? We are back. This is uh, Board Bob here. Uh, just an update. Uh, off camera, I went ahead and uh, I took all this iron that we had been stockpiling. We got about halfway up on stockpiling this. And uh, I went ahead and threw down um, a bunch of inserters that I had built for other things and just pumped out a whole metric crap ton of, of uh, magazines and I went around and filled all of these up um, they all not completely full they all have about a hundred magazines in them now um, that should keep us going for a while um, you saw we just had had a biter attack down here uh, that did do some damage but again it's been it's been pretty minor um, at some point we do have to, to go take care of these biters we're getting them on all three sides now um, and what have you but um, I want to get this science going in here because uh, we've been we've been idle on science for a while now um, and the science must flow so what I've been thinking about doing I've been kind of scratching my head on this for a little bit um, I want to have a main bus that because that way everything with all this modular stuff that I'm going to do can can pick off of this bus from wherever. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run that bus out this way. Um, so we're going to expand uh, this particular base out this way, with the exception of taking advantage of of some of these spaces around here for other things. Uh, maybe eventually a rail station to bring in because we're going to. We're going to run out of the copper here and the iron here at some point and uh, I want to keep these buffers, there's no sense moving them. So I'll probably put in a rail station and start bringing in um, that, that copper and iron plate from someplace else. Um, right now, um, having taken all of that iron out of this uh, buffer, and like I say man, it was, it was a shit ton. Um, I was all the way up to probably about here with full full chests now you see it's all the way down here um, I completely emptied this out but it gave me enough iron to do uh, ammo 100 magazines of ammo for every single uh, gun turret um, we have so yeah see they did a little bit of damage but nothing hardly uh, to speak of so right now we can see because of having taken all of that out um, that right now our bottleneck is our plate production. Um, we still got a pretty decent flow of, uh, of, of, of iron ore coming in. Um, you know, you're seeing a little bit on this side, but that's okay because there's only a couple of, uh, couple of miners here, but there is a lot here, so it's keeping these both um, fairly well packed. Um, it's the output that is, is killing us. Um, of course, these are just those stern fur stone furnaces. Um, so we need to uh, upgrade them and uh, and just by upgrading them we're going to double our production so in order to prep to do that I went ahead and just set up this little steel processing uh, area here um, I've already got some in my inventory not much um, because if you notice I also went down here and I made a submachine gun and a shotgun and ammo for both of those and I also made myself some heavy armor because like I say at some point we're gonna have to go out and take care of these biters but having said that let's put this down somewhere um, let's just plop this down um, and we're gonna start this producing um, our furnaces that way we can come back and we can uh, start uh, replacing all these furnaces with with better furnaces um, let's go over here grab ourselves some some brick um, that should give us enough for now <clears throat> you noticed I turned off the brick going I didn't turn it off but I but I added this little chest here uh, again for the same reason I wanted to start gathering up some bricks because um, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna set this to build these steel furnaces um, and then we're just gonna dump all that we can in there right now and then we're gonna sit down we got these wooden chests that we've been just farting around with so um, we're gonna set one there one there we'll put a oh wait no maybe not maybe we'll put one there one there um, we'll pick this up and we'll set her down right there 
and that'll start throwing our furnaces in there and we will put the rest of this and the rest of this in there and however many that makes we'll kind of judge from there and go back and, and get what we need all right so <clears throat> now we've got that started we want to we want to get this science going so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to run this bus up here and across so that we can start building our science um, so let's get down here um, the other thing I did is I, I made a I made a bunch of uh, splitters I think no I didn't I thought I had made them but um, I was planning to and didn't I guess um, I need to make some splitters and I need to make some underground belts um, but that's minor <clears throat> let's get this started so uh, I did some thinking about it and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these make these buses um, all as double buses and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll just get it get it up there for now we're gonna come back later and we'll throw a balancer in there so that it fills the whole thing um, but for right now we're just gonna th we're just gonna run it up here just to get it started it's gonna put a bunch of uh, iron and copper on a belt that's just going to be kind of sitting there but that's okay um, the whole belt is basically going to be that anyway um, that will also give us a certain amount of buffer room to uh, go back and, and, and use yeah, let's get rid of this tree um, to take up any of these these bounces in production um, trying to find ways to uh, alleviate um, these these bounces in production from when well, how come all, it didn't it stopped and then all of a sudden I don't know whatever anyway I'm trying to find a way to to, to eliminate some of these bounces uh, in production when when something gets a high demand and then you end up with uh, with a bottleneck so I'm, I'm trying to find ways to do that I think this buffer thing is going to be one of those ways I think that's going to work out well um, in the end once I get you know production really kind of going better so you know we'll see um, one of the things I'm gonna do with this like I say I'm gonna do these double lines I'm gonna leave a space or two between them again I'm trying to get away from my old habit of putting everything so much right on top of each other that I have no room to work so uh, this time around what I'm going to try and do is spread things out uh, a bit more um, I'm not worried about the wasted space this time around I'm worried more about the convenience of being able to do things so we're going to leave a few spaces here one two three you know what let's back it up one more and uh, do that I screw up. I think I just screwed up. Yeah, I did. Nah. Yeah, I did. But that's okay. Uh, no, it's going to bug me. <laughs> it's going to bug me. Um, I forgot was we were on the, in, the the outside belt, not the inside belt. Oh, you know what? We can do this, though. Rather than pulling all that up, we can just do this. I'm stupid. And then we can do this. Duh. Oh, and that's another thing. Um, you notice I, I put down those three belts that are damaged. Um, I don't know why I was having such a brain fart uh, in the last couple of videos. Um, I, for some reason, thought that you could take these broken belts and uh, learn to fly. Oh, no, that's something totally different. Uh, take the, the broken stuff and put it in and use that for manufacturing, and you can't. And, and I kept playing around with those three pieces and going how did I get these three pieces how did I get these three pieces well it's because I'm stupid and and I the light never came on that hey wait a minute tell me you're not using those up so yeah I was wrong you can't put broken ones in and use them to produce things I wish you could because I don't sometimes want to waste repair parts are repair modules or, or packs or whatever you want to call them 
on things that I'm going to throw away anyway. Um, not necessarily in the case of belts. I mean, we're always going to use belts. Um, but I make a lot of stuff, or I find you make a lot of stuff that you're making for now. Um, in other words, um, only so many things can be upcycled. And, and only so many things can be used um, in other places. And once you've made them and once you've advanced beyond that, then you're kind of screwed. So I wish there was a way to either recycle things and get you know some of the value back, not necessarily all the value, or you could throw things in somewhere um, and use them somehow. Um, maybe there's a mod for that. There probably is. Um, I really <clears throat> haven't gotten into the whole mod thing too much. Um, I've played with a few of them, uh, like the, the tanker cars and stuff like that, but now they've got that in the game, so I really haven't even done that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just wish there was some way in the game from the devs to, to do that. Okay, so now we got our main bus coming up here. So now what do we need for science? We know we need gears. We know we need green circuits um, because for red science we need the gears. For green science we need inserters and we need belts. And for inserters we need green circuits. And for gear belts we need gears. So our two biggest things that we're going to need a crap ton of are uh, copper wire and iron gears. So, let's start with the iron gears. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that same setup that we used up there. Um, and we're going to make our, our iron gears right here. And then we're going to run, run a bus for that up. So we're going to pick off of this iron line, and then we're going to run a bus up there. Um, but, since all we need for this is the iron gears. Let's do this. Let's put this down here where the input is coming from the bottom. Um, the output is going up to the top since we're only going to be plucking off of this iron anyway. Um, <clears throat> and I think, I think I'm happy with that right there. You know what we're going to do? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put that one there and we're going to come down here and we're going to put another one right here okay now if I had robots uh, you know they'd, they'd be built by now but uh, I don't so I gotta do this by hand um, but I'm really kind of liking this uh, little manufacturing pod if you will that I I'm going to be using um, we're doing this stuff. The reason I put two of these oops, is I am going to um, use this one for gears. Um, that other one I am going to use for copper wire and I'm going to pluck off of the copper right up there and, uh, and run, a, run a line back down to it and run a line back up. Oops. Um, another thing I spotted on my other video um, that I screwed up when I was putting down belts for the manufacturer. Oh, short by three. Oh well. Um, when I when I was doing the other one, one of the things that I spotted uh, while putting down belts is I missed a spot. Um, I don't know if anybody else caught that or not, um, but I uh, I missed a spot on my on my layout. I went back and I fixed that as well um, and, and put in the, the one piece of belt that I was missing because knowing me if I left it and uh, started production I wouldn't notice it even though there'd be a backup in flow it would take me ever to forever and a day to, to realize that it was there and 
to get around to fixing it so when I spotted it on the video because I go back and I look at all my videos that I do just to see you know if I screwed anything up or anything like that um, and I spotted it and I decided oh you know what take care of it now because if I don't take care of it now and I wait till later then it's going to come back to bite me so um, if anybody caught that great if not uh, then I caught it first but it's but it, either way, it's it's been done. Um, oh, and I'm out of belts. Man, I, out of everything. Um, let's do what we can before we go up and get more. And like I say, our goal for today is to get our resources pumping into science so we can start researching because we want to start looking at uh, better bullet damage uh, we want to start looking at uh, turret speeds um, etc because we're gonna be using these turrets for a while until we get uh, get laser turrets so we want to get these up to snuff because, like I say, we're starting to get a fair amount of biters come in, and we're starting to see uh, medium-sized biters um, based on the damage, although I haven't seen any, but some of the turrets themselves are taking damage without the walls being damaged, which tells me that we also have spitters that are uh, showing up out there. So... Um, we want to start killing that stuff before it gets to the fence. Um, and in order to do that, we need to have better damage uh, and what have you. We also are going to want to look at armor piercing rounds because, uh, for the same reason, you know, we're starting to get the larger biters in. The larger biters, um, you, you need more firepower. Um, I looked at, I've looked at the, uh, um, yeah, the the flamethrower turrets. I checked them out. I I don't know what anybody else thinks of them. I'd love to hear what somebody else, what everybody else thinks of them. Uh, I don't know. They were okay. They're kind of neat, um, but they're not. Uh, I don't know. They're not what I would use on a regular basis I don't think um, I'm, I'm pretty sure did I get all the yeah I did okay uh, I'm pretty sure they are not something that I would be using on a on a regular basis looks like this chest is now emptied um, let's grab these up and uh, replace these real quick because this is gonna just by doing this should double our our production uh, for iron plates and for copper plates and that's a big thing um, we're really starting to starting to use the stuff now so let's get all of these swapped out and uh, get that running we're not going to worry about the ones for the the steel plate because that's only temporary. Uh, was something I just threw down to be able to build these. Now that we've got them, we'll probably just pull that up because we're gonna we're gonna move it to its own individual spot again eventually. Um, like I say, in keeping with this whole uh, individual component pod system, whatever you want to call it. Um, I want to. I want to keep everything into into individual manufacturing areas. It's probably not the most efficient thing to do. I'm sure it's. In fact, I'm sure it's not. But it is something I want to try out. So we're at uh, 10, 12 of them that we still need. Um, so let's go over here and throw some more brick and some more steel in there, um, and then walk away from it and go do what we need to do. 
Eh, I know we'll use them. Might as well go ahead and grab it on up and just throw it all in there and, and let it let it just run. There we go. Alright. So, um, what else do we need? We need, um, what are we shy on? We need splitters. And I think we need a couple more assembly ones. Um, I got my rest of my belts, so we should be okay on that. Oops. So we're going to have to build some splitters, and we're not going to have to build some more assembly ones. Um, this we're going to swap. We're going to come the other direction with it. Um, yeah. I'm going to come in the other direction with this one. So let's uh, let's ignore what we have here. And, uh, oops. Because we're going to put a splitter there instead. And uh, feed that one from above. Do do. there. There. So now we've got all the belts laid for the most part, except for um, coming from over there. Uh, now we need power poles. And then course, like I say, we're going to need two more assembler ones. I think it's two. We'll go up and look. And uh, we're going to need some splitters. And we're also going to, at some point, want underground belts. So we'll probably pump out a pile of, of splitters and a pile of underground belts so that we have them. So as soon as we complete this, we will have everything that we need for uh, for red science because red science the only thing we need to craft our gears, and this will give us our gears, um, and then we can start working on the green science uh, components because we're going to need to feed in uh, some other stuff for those. So let's see, is that everything with the exception of the splitters? And this is everything with the exception of the splitters and three uh, assembler ones. Let's see if we got anything over here in the crate that we can that we can use. Uh, no, it just says broke ass belts. All right, so um, we're gonna have to go up here and 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 waylay this uh, this assembler for a little bit. Um, how many did we get? Well, we got 10. All right, so we'll, we'll put them in at some point. All right, so now for splitters, we need green circuits, iron plates, and transport belts. Well, we've got green circuits. We have transport plates. We need, or er, transport belts. We need iron, iron, iron plates. So let's just Let's just steal a bunch of iron plate. There we go. And we'll throw that in there. Um, oops. We're just going to throw it in there. We'll just 100 of each. And we'll just let it go. Um, and then what do we need for underground? We need iron plates and transport belts. Alright, well we got both of those. So that will uh, give us some, some underground. Um, it's going to use up what we have left of belts. So we'll just grab the belts. Um, yeah, this is looking a little better. Um, having replaced all of these, uh, now we're seeing that it's, it's, it's our iron 
ore that's holding us back, um, which is good um, because uh, you know we can we can bump that that up uh, with when we when we put in better belts. Um, we're, we're, I kind of want to stick with this this uh, split belt, so that's going to be a bottleneck for a little while. But at least we're not bottlenecked at the furnaces now, so this should fill a lot faster than what it did. Um, and we can always we can always put in a second line, I suppose, one for there and one for there. Um, at some point. So, let's go over here, get our splitters. All right. And now we want to change that to underground belts. And we'll put in a stack of those, a stack of that. We'll grab our splitters. We'll let that run since we don't really need them right now. And we will go down here and put our splitters in. For our system down here. And is that all of them? That looks to be, oh, no, one more. Do it over here. Yes. Okay. So we got our splitter there. That goes in there. Why did we put a splitter here? I I don't know. I'm losing my mind. That was kind of dumb. That's a waste of a splitter. Well, at least we caught it. All right. So there's that. So now we're going to pick off of this one line here. We're just going to pick off of this side for now since it's the most convenient. The reason I did two of these is to be able to um, swap back and forth on where I'm going to pick from. Um, like I say, I will come down and throw an, a balancer in here so that these will be uh, completely filled. There we go. So now that should be going into there. Yep. We'll just let that run for a minute. Um, meanwhile, we will go up here and we will uh, bring this copper down. And we're going to do the same thing. We'll put a balancer up here somewhere. Um, and we're going to pluck off of this copper line. have the reach. I know I had one. I could put it right here and put it right on top of that line, but then that doesn't give me any working space later if I need it. So let's go one space away from it. That gives us some working space if we need to have some working space. Um, now we just need these three assemblers. Um, these underground belts should be done by now. We can go, we can go change out this production and we need assemblers. So what do we need? We need green circuits, iron gears, and iron plates. So, iron gears, iron gears, iron gears, guys. Everything needs iron gears. Well, luckily, we got them both right here. And what else did we need? Uh, iron gears, iron plates and green circuits. So we need iron plates. Alright, well, that 
that's what we have this for. Not a lot. We're going to have to definitely uh, work on getting that throughput a little bit better on our um, on our ore. I don't like having these choke points. We need to, to be more efficient. Um, so I'll have to think about that, think about how I'm going to run that. I'll probably just run two lines up there, one to each side. Um, so set that for that. And uh, we'll throw those in. We'll throw those in. extra. There we go. So that should give us that. What do we need for... Yeah, because you know what? Let's do this. Let's do one more of these and then we'll throw that in um, and we'll make ourselves another blue, uh, another level 2 assembler. Alright. So let's grab those out of there. Um, three for that, one for, okay, so, and we're going to change this to blue assemblers. We're, we're going to make a second blue assembler, um, to have, uh, for our in-hand crafting. We're going to set this back to making furnaces, um, and that should give us everything we need to get down here and finish this up. So, here are our one, two, three level one assemblers. We have power, we have plate, we missed a spot with our belts because we had run out of belts and we didn't go back and finish this. All right, let's see. Is that everything? Power, inserters, uh, belts, splitters. Yes, okay. So, now all we need is to hook this into the grid. Um, so, one here and one. Oh, man, right in the middle. Okay, well, there we go. We can do it right there. Boom. And then, same thing down here. One here. And one, oops. I'm going to come over one. Here. There we go. All right. So now, let's go down here and tell this to make gears. Iron gears and then copy that on out to everybody else. Oops. Dang it. Careful what you click on. Yeah, where are we taking that? Okay, so still that one same place down there. Um, they really seem to like that one spot. Um, all right, so look, yeah, we're getting getting some serious gearage now. Uh, that is awesome because that is what we need. That's what we wanted to see. Um, all right, so now we'll go in here and we'll tell this one we want cable. should be pumping out very soon a crap ton of cable. Alright, so that should uh, keep us in gear and cable for a while. And for these, for this main bus, we're only going to bring one line up. I think we really only need to bring it up as a single line. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four. All right. So I think we only need a single line of each of these. But I know we're going to want it down the road. We're going to want other stuff. So we're going to go ahead and run both of those lines far enough that we don't have to go back and run them later and then we don't accidentally forget to run them later. Did I line this up right? I did. Awesome me. Alright, so there we go. So now we have uh, copper wire and gears on our bus. This is going to be our main bus, like I said, running through here. Now we need to pluck off of that and run it up here for our red science. And red science again needs uh, copper plate and gears. So we'll run. We'll, we're going to pluck a line off for gears. We're going to pluck a line off for copper plate, and we're going to run them up there and get our red science running. Um, I think. We're going to probably swap this input and, and make it come from down here as opposed to up there. Um, it just makes sense since that is. Oops. So now, uh, we want, do we have another underground? Yes, we do. Okay. So we'll give ourselves one that side and one that side. Um, we're already using the belts for that go into it. We might as well use the, the, the distance, give ourselves some working space. Since, since the belts are dedicated regardless of whether we use the whole distance for that or, or part of the distance for that. So why not use it? All right. Bring this over. We probably at some point will change the way this routes because I don't know that this is going to be the most efficient way to do this or not but it is a way um, and it'll work for now. So we're gonna we'll do it before we balance it doesn't matter because it's only going into a single sided line anyway. Oops. Hmm. You know what? Let's move this up one because we're going to come up with another uh, belt from the other side anyway. Yeah, let's not get it started too much. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and put it on there. Now we can get rid of that. And this go here. It ain't pretty, but it's going to work. It ain't pretty, but it's going to work. And then here. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. 
I know, random. Yeah, that's me. All right. Now, that, if we did everything right, will give us, and it's already turned on, red science. Woohoo! Yes? Still waiting on the, on the gears to get up here. There they come. Come on, babies. I just want to make sure this is going to work. That I haven't screwed anything else up. Um, and once we know that's going to work, we will go down and get set up for green. Yep, looks like it's coming all the way up. Gonna be up there. Yep, okay. There we go. We are finally, s excuse me, sciencing again. Awesome. Uh, yep, there we go. There we go. All right, so now we need to green science. And we need to green science. We need belts and inserters. So, let's go back down here. Think about how we want to do this. Think about what you've done. Go sit in your room and think about what you've done. All right. Uh, you know what? I know. I'd rather do this off camera, but let's get rid of some of these trees. Make ourselves some room. Again, this is another one of those things that robots are really great for. Um, they will come in here and they will tear all this out and uh, put it in chests for you and you don't have to screw with it um, and it's a really nice thing to not have to do this so robots man love them make things a lot easier of course then again that's part of the glamour of them, if you will, but it's also, uh, oh, come on, part of the uh, setback to them is you, 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 you start relying on them. Um, makes you lazy. And you reach a point where, you know, you forget how to do things on your own. You got them to do it for you. You forgot. You forget what it's like to have to do it by yourself. So we just want to get these out of the way because um, we are going to set up another manufacturing plant here. All right. So now for the green science, we need inserters and we need belts. So for inserters, we need. Uh, for belts we need iron gears which are now making and we need iron plates for the inserters we need gears plates and circuits so well, you know what let's plop down some lights um, so we're not working in the dark it's better for you guys better for me and we have a whole butt ton of them so I think I made a bunch of them offline. Um, so that's another one of those things that I went ahead and kind of took care of offline. I don't think you guys are really interested in watching me create a bunch of lights. If you are, say so, man, and I'll start putting that stuff in. Um, I'll probably clear the rest of this forest out off camera as well, um, just to get that out of my way. Oh, man, that's going to drive me bug nuts, but that's okay. We'll live with it. I don't know if you see what I see. 
is I went up all the way with this now the belts up here and this isn't going to line up and that's life um, because that's going to be my main bus and so now we're gonna but that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna do another bus that's gonna have um, inserters and belts on it we're gonna do that right here anyway we're gonna make a single line with inserters and belts so let's do this let's grab um, these just for my own thinking um, so for belts we need plates and we need iron gears which we have both right here so if we put that there that gives us belts right all right so then we need inserters and inserters we need a blue one because we need three three things for inserters so we need a, an assembler too and for inserters we need plates gears and green circuits so what do we need for green circuits for green circuits we need copper cable and iron plates right so if we do this if we do this here and we make green circuits right and then we do you know what let's do this we'll do that there and we'll do this here this will give us green circuits to pump into our inserters oops so that'll give us our, our gears our plates and our circuits because we can pluck our plates off of here we can pluck our, our, our gears off of here our plates off of here and our green circuits will be coming in here this will give us our green circuits because we'll have uh, wire coming in here plates coming in here um, and right out to that this will give us our belts because it's plates and gears bada bing bada boom so we're going to need um, let's see 5 10 15 20 60 if we do the same size uh, manufacturing and we are definitely going to use the inserters because they're the basis for all the other inserters anyway we're going to be using a crap ton of belts because that's the basis for everything else belt wise and God knows we're going to use a bunch of green circuits so 20 40 60 so we're going to want 60 uh, we're going to want 40 level ones and 20 level twos um, so let's let's do what we need to do to build those so so let's grab the stuff we need green circuits gears plates okay well we got a bunch of green circuits and gears over here so let's just grab them up we can always get the gears down at the other end this is the only place right now we've got the green circuits so uh, green circuits gears plates we need plates gee if only we had some place where we were making plates and storing them yeah it's filling back up we're getting there all right so go over here this should be done doing all of our furnaces at this point yeah I know you're screaming for wood I don't care we don't need the wood for those right now all right so let's make this build inserters so 20 40 60 of them total because we need 20 of them to turn into into level 2 inserters so there's that there's that there's that we're going to need a bunch more gears and what have you. So let's go down here and just grab them. While we're waiting on that to produce. Uh, 
All right. That's enough to get us started, I think. Uh, yeah, that's enough to get us started. And now we're making gears down here in abundance. We can actually get down here and grab a bunch of these gears. There, that's better. So the first thing I think we're gonna start making is the green circuits, so then we can rob them from there to build the other stuff. So how many we got now? We got uh, 22. So we got enough that we can swap this over. Yep, okay. So now let's swap this over and make the blues. And we want 20 of those total. So that will regulate us. Duh. Because they're going up here. <laughs> Where'd they go? Alright, so that's 17. We need uh, yeah, three more, and they're right there. So we're out of plate. Okay. Well, let's go up here and grab this plate real quick. I rob off my lines a lot. Probably not the best way to do things. Um because then you give you gaps and you start getting uh, backlogs and what have you so you get bottlenecks that's why I like to basically put a chest in for each of my things that I'm going that I'm more likely to steal um, so that um, I can just steal it from that chest and I don't have to steal it from the line and it will fill when it fills So, at some point, I'll be doing that. All right. Now, we want to make sure our spacing is right. So let's go over here and lay down these schematics. That's another thing the schematics are really handy for, is uh, spacing. So let's grab our schematic book. All right. So now... We said that um, the inserters are going to go here, and the inserters are going to need um, crap. We're going to have to redo that because that's going to need multiple lines in. Crow. Okay, no problem. We're going to probably use that. Same. We're going to probably be changing that around probably be changing this around too simply because we're going to want it to kind of fit in the same area but for now we'll throw that down there we're going to throw this down here just so that we can see where we need to place this one is going to be for our green circuits and we're going to probably place it right about here. Yeah, let's give ourselves some room in case we've got to expand that one. I'm going to place it right there. It won't let us until we get rid of the trees. All right. So let's get rid of these trees right here to give us the room we need to start making our green circuits. We'll get We'll get these two set up, and then we'll go back, and we will rethink the inserters. There we go. 
All right. So, like I say, we want to give ourselves a little bit of room because we're going to have to rethink those those so that we can get the same amount of production, but we need three inputs. So we may have to go the other way with it. So there we go. All right. So that's got us that do we have 19 all right well we're gonna need some more then we can we can run up and get those um, but we'll get this put in here and uh, start getting it set up right I said this was going to be green circuits I think because we only need the wire and the iron plate for the green circuits so that'll give us that for the inserters we need the wires the plates the gears so that'll go there um, the uh, belts we just need the, and the gears and the plates so that'll go there all right so how many Oh, we don't have any gears. All right, so we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna go ahead and just grab a bunch of these gears. And I just grab a crap ton. All right, I think we got enough. We got enough plates. We got enough gears. Now we're just gonna need green circuits to finish up. Our green circuit production. <laughs> kind of funny, isn't it? We need the green circuits to build the green circuits. But that's okay. We 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 will we will solve that problem most rickety tickety. Alright, so we needed uh some more uh of those. So we need one more for that. And then we need a total of 20 for the other. Um, gears, plates, green circuits. Gears, plates. Let's see what that ends up giving us ultimately. Yeah, there we go. So, let's just grab the five there, grab those there, there we go, that gives us what we need. It's going to run a little bit long this time, I just want to get this done and get it set up. Um, at least the two. We, we, this we might not finish up this time around, but uh, I want to get these ones set up at least. Alright, you know what, it's getting dark again. Let's throw down our power poles and then we can put a light over here, a couple of lights over here. And we're not working in the dark because I, I hate working in the dark and I know it makes for crappy videos. So let's get some light on the subject over here as fast as we can. Temporarily we'll just run a line over. There we go. And then lights. Let's throw some lights down. Just to have the light to be able to work. And now, of course, it's going to be daylight again, so we really didn't need it, but we definitely need it for the future, so let's just have it. All right. Uh, so. And again, I am sure there are far more efficient ways to design this, um, but one of the things I want to do, like I have said, I want to do, I want to keep this modular. So I want to work off some uh, some very modular designs of of manufacturing 
and kind of keep it consistent. Um, so there we go, there's that. Uh, let's put down our splitters. And then we put down our belts. Get that off of there. 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 Belts. All right, I think I have, a, I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to run out of belts here, but that's okay. That's why we've got them automated. fingers. Alright, does that give us all our belts? That gives us, looks like all our belts. So let's tell this to start making green circuits. That way, when we get our stuff in there, it will just start pumping them out. And this should keep us supplied with a fair amount of green circuits for the foreseeable future. Um, at some point, we will buffer all of these systems, I think, with small buffers. Um, just to again take up for that that bounce in the uh, in the production and we will also balance them at some point all right belts need some more belts always 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 belts always 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 belts which is going to be one of the other things that's going to be nice about having the the belt production automated the way we're doing here. We're going to, we'll always have more belts. Do, 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 do. Belts. We're going to have to get down there and check on that wall at some point. Probably do it off camera they're not chewing that wall away too much. Um, splitter. And... Hmm... You know what? Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's... Splitter here. And there we go. Boom. So now we have it feeding both, and we should have our green circuits coming out soon. Would you look at that? Green circuit. Woohoo! All right. We can break a bottle of champagne over it, right? All right. So now let's go down here and do our belts.
that. And now we can erase this. I could do this with a with a destruction blueprint as well. Um, but you know, I'm not doing a large area. If I was doing a large area, it might be worth it to stop and take the time and go up there and grab a destruction print. But you know, for just this little bit, screw it. Oops, went too far. All right, that's okay. We're going to lay this out now anyway. So this will give us, when we finish this, half of our green science. And half of the other half of the green science because we've got the green circuits going. Right? Yay us. Splitters. And inserters. Uh, beep beep yourself. So I've been pumping out a bunch of these videos um, simply because I have the time right now, and like I had said, like I mentioned before, um, coming up is going to be camp. So I wanted to get some of these banged out so that you guys had something to to look at in the interim. And I think it looks like I've been averaging probably right around an, an, an hour per video. Um, that seems to work for me pretty good. It doesn't seem to be uh, too long, um, I'm hoping. Um, but at the same time, it lets me get something efficiently done. Um, and get us kind of going. Because I don't want to not get things done, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So it seems like an hour kind of works out as a pretty good time frame for that. Um, I don't know what you guys think, but that's that seems to work for me. All right, so looks like we have everything in, and these are going to be belts. So let's uh, tell this belts, and then uh, we can uh, get the resources flowing into it and start producing belts. All right. 
so there we go so now we're going to need for this we're going to need gears and belts let's get this tree out of the way Our gears and plates so gears are easy they're right here um, move this over look gears are just that easy now plates we have to come over here we we'll have to steal some plates and plates are just that easy now we just come over here Hope we don't run out of uh, belts. And would you looky there? lights so we can look oh an electric electric would help I guess we should hook power up I guess it won't work without power huh power is important there we go oh and let there be light so now there we go woohoo belts so now we just gotta take this area here and make inserters with it. So we're going to need gears again, we're going to need plates again, and we're going to need electronic circuits, but we're going to have to figure out uh, how to do this efficiently in this space with three inputs. So I'm going to have to give that some thought, guys. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do, potentially. Um, but I'm not entirely sure, so um, I think I'm going to leave it for right now, but I think it's going to be a play on these, only instead what I think I'm going to do is reverse the Gazinta and the Gazauta and have all the Gazautas come this way, and that'll give me um, two belts that will feed... No because it won't feed that one. Yeah, so I'm going to have to think about this, guys, um, and see what I can come up with um, as a design that will, will incorporate the same number of uh, assemblers and the same uh, general footprint. Um, but in the interim, that gets us going with our red science. Um, so we got that started. Uh, I know for, for engines we need red and green, um, but there is a bunch of uh, red science stuff that we can work on in the interim. Um, what I'm going to do is I will pump out enough green just to, to rack off this engine, um, and we'll do it through here, and we'll just dump uh, a bunch of inserters and a bunch of belts on that line and just grab these and grab these and I'm just gonna sneak these into the system right up here uh, inserter and, and I should have done this before um, I don't know where my brain was but I just thought of doing this so we'll just uh, get that headed whoops wrong spot I don't know where my brain is now fat lot of good it does to put belts and inserters into science. Now I'm going to have to go up here and race up here 
and grab these off of this belt so that we're not polluting our belt and then we'll put them where they belong over here dumbass sometimes I'm not real bright best I can tell you guys sometimes I'm not real bright all right there now let's try this again belts inserters power that'll start pumping out some green science we'll get that engine taken care of um, and since we've got our red science running uh, we can we can just go ahead and, and hit our red science research once that's done and in the meantime I can figure out what the hell to put down here but we have uh, our red science going now um, we have belts going and we will ultimately run a run a line up here for um, for our bus for belts and also pluck off of it and run it up here uh, for uh, for the one half of our green science um, and we're going to clear out that uh, that forest. Let's take a look real quick and see what the damage is down here with these biters. Um, like I say, I put a hundred magazines in each of these so we should be good for a while. Oh yeah, so they're still you know, um, there's a couple of them that are getting there. They're down to two spots. We're starting to see some damage on the turrets, which means we definitely have some spitter action going on down here. Um, let's see what we got here. Yep, there's our spitters. Small spitters. Okay. Medium biters. A lot more medium biters. Um, still small worms. So we're going to want to come down here at some point, get rid of this. Um, get rid of these two, get rid of this one here, um, maybe even these two here. Um, we're going to start seeing some up here soon if we keep it up. So we're, we're definitely going to have to start going on a bug hunt. Um, but for right now, I think we're doing okay. Um, and we're, we're, getting, we're getting there on, on getting things uh, set up production-wise. We're going to have to go back and revamp this. Um, and like I say, I'm probably going to put in two lines, one to each, um, a split line to each, and, uh, and figure it out so that we can, we can get this fed better um, so that we don't have this backlog. Of course, once this fills up, that will start to, to alleviate itself and go away. Um, it's mostly just filling this bus back up, and that's a lot of material to fill. So we may just leave it and see how how we doing on these chests down here. Yeah, see we're 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 producing pretty good. We may just leave that. I don't know. We'll see. We're we're starting to pull some of it out for this stuff. Um, but once everything balances itself out a little bit production wise, we should be okay. Um, all right. So that is it for now. And uh, I will see you guys again in a little bit. Um, like I say, I'm going to give some thinking to how to lay this out. And uh, hopefully that will be our next video as we will we'll get this laid out. And we'll start producing our green science on a, on a much more uh, massive basis than what we are right now. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you guys know the deal. Like, subscribe, comment, um, tell me to, to, to go get a real job, whatever. Um, and I will talk at you later. All right. Have a good day. Bye.